What's good, R&B squad? This is Autumn Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new to this family, we don't believe that you're here by accident. Welcome. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is, of course, always happier. The word I have today comes from a dream that I had, and as per usual, as you guys listen, you'll know whether or not it is for you. Y'all know how we do it here. If some things apply and not everything does, eat the meat, spit out the bone, take what's for you, and leave the rest. Now, in this dream, there was this bride. She was getting ready for her wedding, and it appeared as though she trusted a small group of people to assist her in getting ready for this wedding. So they were in charge of taking care of some areas of the preparation. And I happened to be one of the people who was chosen to help her prepare. Now, this bride, I should add that I don't know her in waking life. This isn't anybody that I know in waking life. I just know that she represented someone that I'm supposed to assist in prepping for their wedding, whether it's spiritually or it's in the natural. So what I noticed was that these people that she trusted to assist her in getting things ready for her wedding, they were slacking off on their duties. And not only were they slacking off, they seemed to be willfully doing so. So every time the bride turned her back and she turned her back, trusting them to take care of things, they would slack off on their duties. And they seemed to think that it was amusing that they were slacking off on their duties so that when the time came for her to be married, things would not be in full preparation. And I was the only one that was taking it seriously. And I remember this one woman coming up to me. She was part of the group that was assisting with with keep with getting the wedding ready. And she came up to me and she said, "Why are you taking this so seriously?" Because she expected me to join in and not take the bride seriously and not take the wedding prep seriously. And I said to her, because I can put myself in her shoes, I wouldn't like it if this were my wedding and the people that I trusted to help me get things ready were slacking off on their duties and making light of it. I would want them to take my wedding prep seriously because I trusted them to. And that was the end of the dream. I do feel also the need to mention that there was a lot of white so part of the, the color scheme included the color white. That may be a clue for someone. Now, when I woke up and I sought the Lord, this is to let somebody know that one, you're in your wedding season and two, be careful of the people around you that you trust to help you get through this season. There are people that you may be seeking for help in getting your wedding ready. There are people that you may be trusting enough to tell them that you're in your wedding season and they have offered to help you spiritually, whether it's to pray for you, stand in the gap for you. These people are slacking off on their duties. They don't really want to see you get married. They don't really want to see this happen. However, God will send you, even if it's just one person, to really have your back in this season, to really help you through it. So I hope this message reaches the right ears. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.